In number eight, a 20 foot ladder leans against a building. The bottom of the ladder slides away horizontally at a rate of two feet per second. So how fast is the ladder sliding down when the top of the ladder is 12 feet above the ground? So here's our building and here's the ground. And then here is our ladder. Okay. So we know the ladder is 20 feet long. So we'll just put 20 there. And we know that this is going to be a right angle. And we'll just call this length x and this length y. So here's our drawing there. Now we always want to label this with variables. And we also notice that x is going to be sliding away from the wall. And if that happens, we're going to get our y also decreasing. It's going to slide down the wall. So next, our rates. See, the bottom of the ladder slides away horizontally at a rate of 2 feet per second. So that's going to be dx over dt. And that's going to be 2. And we want to be able to find dy dt, or how fast is it sliding down the wall. And we want to do this when it's 12 feet above the ground. So in this case, when y equals 12. Next, let's go ahead and find our equation. And we want to be able to come up with an equation with x's and y's in it. And so we can actually use Pythagorean theorem here. So x squared plus y squared equals 20 squared. And you'll notice that 20 is constant because the height of the ladder is not changing. So when you write your equation, just go ahead and plug your constants in things that never change. If it is changing, like the x and the y, then you leave that as a variable. OK, so we can simplify this a little bit. We get x squared plus y squared equals 400. And now we can go ahead and derive. So we're going to have the derivative with respect to t of x squared plus the derivative with respect to t of y squared equals the derivative with respect to t of 400. So we're going to get 2x dx dt plus 2y dy dt. And that's going to equal 0. Now let's go ahead and substitute. Well, when y equals 12, we can actually find x because we know our Pythagorean theorem. So x will actually equal the square root of 20 squared minus 12 squared. Okay, So if you set up a squared plus b squared equals c squared, use the values that we know, we actually get x equals 16. So we're going to get 2 times 16 times its rate of 2 plus 2 times y, which is 12, times its rate, which we don't know. And that is going to equal 0. So now let's go ahead and simplify. So we get 64 plus 24 dy over dt equals 0. And we're going to subtract the 64. And so we get 24 dy over dt equals negative 64. And then we're going to divide by 24. So dy over dt is going to equal negative 64 over 24 which reduces to negative 8 thirds. And that's going to be feet per second. Now, very important that you realize that we should have gotten a negative answer here. And the reason it's negative is that this height is actually decreasing. So always check to make sure that the rate that you get in the end makes sense for the situation here. So again, the rate of y is negative 8 thirds feet per second because it's going down as x slides away. All right, so that is our Calculus Notes 2.6b.